Have a choke dust. It's very aptly named because it's dust that makes you choke. I quite like it. Yay, a mu musical overseer has been eliminated. Sweet. Eliminate the last overseer armed with a musical box. That way, cool, okay. Uh, where's the rest of the little goodies that we've got to go collect? Got to go collect some more goodies. Okay, apparently we're not in range to see the rest of the goodies right now, so... Oh well, we'll just have to find them as we progress. Ow, that really hurt my legs. Oh well. Ooh, what was that? Sleep darts, I saw stuff. No, I don't. Uh, I've managed to make a space for myself, whatever, just some guy talking about his living. I don't care that much about the story. If you want to check it out, you can, I suppose. What the fuck? He doesn't even care. Wow, okay. So can you just not use that kind of stuff on them at all? Oh, oh crap. Nope. There we go. That should help. Oh shit, I don't even have any more fucking health potions. This is bad. Oh damn. Okay, uh, someone get over here. Thank you. Please come closer. There we go. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> oh, turn to dust. Hey, you're still alive. Good. Cool. Oh, there's some dynamic lighting going on here. That's really cool. Oh, that's really nice. I love the fact that it's got dynamic lighting. That's cute. Your assassin is over there. Really? My assassin? I own an assassin. Neat. More books to be read that I won't. Ugh. I just really wish that they would skim how much dialogue they put into books. Like, it's cool, yes, but it's just like, it's way too what much. What is your will? Kill the remaining over. Okay, so, the reason why they have non-lethal and lethal approaches is that the non-lethal one has a better ending because it's more difficult, and the lethal approach has a worse ending because it's easier. This is just you just click, and then it's lethal or non -lethal. Just capture them. Like, why would you be overly lethal if you don't actually, if it's not more difficult? That is, that defeats the whole purpose of the system. Oh, goofy as fuck. That is like that. Neat. Oh, can I drink this stuff? Does that do anything? Nope, that doesn't, this, this one doesn't even have a tap. Wow. I'm surprised it even has running water. It's broken that badly. Oh, poor potty. potty. Okay, cool. What's up, guys? You guys actually came back here really- Oh, fuck, that's right, there's lean in this game. I keep forgetting that even exists. It's not useful at all. At least for a lethal. Give me a report. The Overseer leader is dead. We gave his body to the River Crusts. His forces were utterly destroyed. Any survivors have fled. They were planning a larger assault. But this group of Overseers attacked early, without the others from the Abbey. Where's Lurk? I'm here. I was held up. The Overseers had us trapped. They've... Oh. You. Yes. Me. Everything is falling into place. Though I'd hoped the Overseers would be capable of finishing you in one try. Overseer Hume was just a little too ambitious. Fortunately, I still have one card left to play. Lurk? Sorry, Dowd. But you knew this was coming. Even if you didn't think it was so soon. You've been slipping. Ever since the Empress died. It's my time now. Your little empires fall into bits. Your men are dead in the streets. And our dark-eyed friend has lost interest in helping you. Quiet, Delilah. You're right. But I'm going to show respect. Dowd. Blades out. We'll do this properly. Oh, fucking Christ. Okay, um... Novice Assassin, do it! No! Okay, come on, let's do it. Fucking bitch! Please die. Oh, where's my choke dust? I can't select it. There we go. You wouldn't... Stop that! Freaking stop being alive. How are you still alive? That is impressive. It's like, it's amazing that you're so alive despite constantly being attacked. Okay, come on, you were just, like, just taking so many freaking hits to the damn face. It's ridiculous. Please just die already. Okay, come on. That's like seven backstabs. How did you get over here? I knew it would come to this, Dowd. It's our nature. 
I want to let you. S I want to spare your life. Okay, whatever. Yeah, she should have lurked more. <laughs> once told me Billy Lurk was your finest pupil. Fast and strong with a sharp mind. It's no accident she was the only woman you ever trained. And she proved even more ruthless and deceptive than you thought. But she was no match for you. This is why, in a city of horrors, parents will scare their children with a legend of Dow, the knife of Dunwall, who never chose sides, who preyed on the city's lords, who never swore fealty, who brought down overseers, once even an empress. I wonder what the final chapter will be. What happens to scary monsters in the end? Yay, so that's the end of the game, or DLC rather. Cool. Killed Billy Lurk, eliminate all the overseers with, armed with music boxes. Cool. Dishonored, the knife of Dunwall, published by Bethesda Softworks. Okay, well, that's the end of that. That was a short-ass DLC. Apparently, though, if you take your time and, like, research everything and read every book, it can take six to seven hours, which I find ridiculous since, you know, I beat it in, what, 90 minutes, if that, something. So it was pro yeah, it was probably, like, 90 minutes or two hours or something like that. So, it was, yeah, I find it hard to believe that, you could get six to seven out of it out of it from one single playthrough. That's longer than it took me to beat the main game, I think. I forget how long it took me to beat the main game, but still, find it regardless. But I find it regardless. No, I find it hard to believe. But hey, people say that it's true, and I'm not going to doubt people because they're people too. Just in case you didn't get that from the people part. Impressions of it, I suppose. Mini review of sorts. Um. I like the combat a lot more in this game than the original Dishonored. The original Dishonored was a lot more high emphasis on, you know, combat, well, not, not combat stealth, and I just didn't really care for the stealth because the combat mechanics were so much more interesting and more enjoyable to play around with. The blink in this game is a lot more enjoyable because it freezes time and allows you to actually plan more strategically, so if you make an accidental blink, you can't, you can actually go back. Like, if you jump off a building, decide you don't want to go anywhere because there's not enough space and you don't just fall to your death and have to reload, you can just hold the button, turn around, blink back onto the reef where you came from, and then it's so much better and easier and stuff like that. I like the fact that, for some reason, there was actually a lot of females in this game. Like, there was a high emphasis on females. I noticed that, like, um, the first person that we interrogated was a girl, that Billy Lurk was a girl, the second person that we had to talk to was about the niece, the thing, was a girl, the final antagonist that was, like, over there is like, oh, you, that, that lady, you know her, yeah, she was a girl as well, so there, it's, this game seems to have a much higher emphasis on females. I think that's probably to do with the fact that there was some negative reception about the fact that, about the female portrayal in this game, in Dishonored. Um, there was the Piero the Perv scene where he would perv on, um, Camilla? Elista, something like that. She, he, Piero would perv on her while she's in the bath, and there she was, then there, she, there was also the fucking... Uh, the Boil Estate mission, non-lethal option, is to sell Lady Boyle to a weird guy who will sexually assault her for the rest of her life. So, the, fe the, the portrayal of women in there wasn't so positive, so maybe that's their way of trying to fix that by just making females a lot more prominent in this and a lot more stronger characters. Like, like uh, Fania, she was a real strong lady. She was like this... I'm going to do what I want, regardless of what my uncle says. The other lady, who was the first one we met, uh, I forget her name. She was like, I'm going to fight for the people and do what I want because I'm an, I don't need no man. She's a strong, upstanding woman. And the third one, she's, she is of equal, well, she was of equal strength as Dowd. And she was, like, his strongest person. And then there was also the other lady that we saw, who we didn't really find that much about, but... I assume she was also training Billy Lurk, although, so she can't be that powerful then. <laughs> because, well, I mean, I say I assume she was training her because they seem to have this sort of relationship like, Oh, you. Yes, it's me. 
also voice acting voice acting was a lot better in this game a huge problem of the original dishonored game was that the, they got a lot of stage actors for the game rather than voice actors in this game they got a lot more commonly found voice actors like you you know that they know how to deliver lines it's so much better so much clearer so much simpler so much more elegant one could say so I much prefer the way that they've done the voice acting in this game as well because it actually fucking sounds like they're not just blind reading and they're like oh hello Corvo how are you there has been this horrible mistake uh everyone is dead it was horrible like that's like that that what I just did there was probably better than the majority of the voice acting in the original Dishonored game I know I'm being harsh but I just fucking hated the voice acting in the Dishonored game because it was such a story driven game so many events were like story bound and like oh the Pendleton brothers and shit like that and it's just like oh my god I couldn't care less about your voices and it's just so bad and it's like ugh so that's something uh I'm gonna skip that is there a secret ending or anything like that I mean I probably skip the secret ending but no that's it okay so that's the end of the knife of dunwall the knife of dunwall is dunwall is pretty cool i like the fact that there is an elite mode that you can unlock after finishing the game that's really cool i'll probably never play that i was going to say i'll probably play it off screen but then i realized i no because that probably would require me to go stealthy and i just don't really care that much about the stealth mechanics in dishonored i know i know that's a huge selling a huge selling point it's like oh dishonored it's a stealth game it's like i don't not really the the most interesting gameplay systems for dishonored are setting up rude goldberg devices of interesting traps and such like that like oh you got an arc mine you got some you got you like bend time freeze it possess a guy make him walk in front of his own bullets and kill him by having him shoot himself with time possession and shit like that that is the interesting part of dishonored not using blink to go past a guard repeatedly 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 i just don't find that interesting like here's a guard here's a wall that you can walk around use blink to get around it's just like ugh. Not that interested, mate. Okay, so that this has been Dishonored, the Knife of Dunwall. I've been way too harsh on Dishonored throughout this, but I like the Knife of Dunwall a lot more, so GG.